Hey guys, Shea Matthew Kinisher here with Shea 3.0. I wanted to make a quick video today uh, looking at the question of whether object-oriented programming is bad. I watched a video yesterday uh, by Brian Will. That's a pretty popular uh, video on YouTube. And his thesis is essentially that object-oriented programming is bad. Mainly because it unnecessarily abstracts away from uh, procedural programming. Uh, the, the idea was to take, um, you know, create objects and classes and sort of build things together in a way that was um, easier to interact with the code. But in the end, it just created more complexity and more unnecessary um, work basically to do uh, essentially some of the same things and created uh, created more problems than solutions ultimately that's his his uh, his thesis his idea um, there's there's a lot of likes but there's a lot of dislikes on the video and uh, there's a lot of argument uh, going on in the comments so I just wanted to kind of chime in and make a video about this topic Obviously, object-oriented programming has um, become mainstream, and it, uh, you know, it, it dominates the field of practice of programming. And uh, Brian talks about a couple of theories of why that is, um, whether managers wanted it to make uh, programmers sort of uh, uh, enter or replaceable, right? And then. Um, other other things, but he pretty much says that he doesn't think any of those are the real reason. He just thinks that people are trying to make it more, um, you know, subject verb object, like more more like what we do in English, like uh, just sort of the ontology of it, if you will, to, like from a philosophical perspective, like what exists in the code, having these objects that you can interact with, rather than just purely uh, procedural or or imperative or, or functional kind of things, um, baseline, like base level kind of commands and so forth. Um, he wants to get back to that and he thinks that uh, that is just better and that object oriented programming was kind of like a big, ultimately a big cul-de-sac that left um, programming in a state of uh, kind of disorientation and unnecessary complexity and uh, just makes it difficult and makes people less productive overall uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this like I said I just wanted to chime in on the conversation um, is object-oriented programming bad uh, I don't know I'm trying to figure it out <laughs> obviously I don't think it's so simple um, but it definitely has uh, pros and cons like anything else so uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it um, all right, this is uh, Shay 3.0. If you like this video, click the like button and please subscribe. Follow me on my journey as a uh, junior software developer. All right, thanks. Bye.